following show is a paid program. Hey family, how you doing today? I am so excited today. We're talking about the music business with none other than Michonne Young, national recording artist. This lady is from Gary, Indiana and lives in Detroit. Hey lady, how you doing? I am wonderful. How are you? Thank oh, you so much. I am so excited. So people don't know, I love to dance, okay? I love to try. Let's say it like that. I love to try to dance. So I found <laughs> this lady on YouTube and I was going through and I said, wait a minute. She's got a lot of great two-step music that I love to try to, now you know I got two left feet, but I'm working on it. So... <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> I came across your name and your music, and I have not stopped listening to it. Lady, you started oh, wow. 12 years old singing. How did all of this yeah. music industry start? You know what? Uh, it really did start at 12. You know, like many artists, I started in the church, yes. and uh, it was not an option, you know, to, uh, to do anything other than sing in the choir. My mother was the minister of music. My grandmother was a preached you know so it was it was heavenly you know something that i had to do and um i honestly did never thought that i would uh end up pursuing this professionally um my my goal was to become a top executive and um you know do get into the corporate world which is what i did actually for a, a number of years but uh i believe you know god had other plans and uh encouraged me to to use my gift and that i had stopped uh, after college for so many years and um it's just been a blessing just been an absolute blessing absolutely in looking at it we i found out some little known facts about you background for pastor marvin winans yeah yeah that was just an incredible journey um to be selected by pastor winans to be a part of his background singer that sang mm -hmm. background with uh, Tim Bowman's Jr. and his son and uh, being able to travel and then to do a duet with him, um, mm -hmm. you know, was just a, a amazing. So yeah, yeah, I, I was able to travel a great deal with him and perform background for him. Absolutely, alone but not alone with Pastor Marvin, uh, yeah, Winans. How did that go? That song is beautiful. Oh, wow. It was, um, you know, it's, Pastor Winans is, uh, is, 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 is extremely humble when it mm -hmm. comes to the people that support him. Um, I learned such a great deal about the business, about what to do and uh, what not to do and, um, you know, I still consider him just the, the first person who really mentored me in, into this business and showed me, you know, in many ways that's been traveling with him, uh, how this thing works. Still learning, you know, mm -hmm. but uh, what a way to start off with, with such a, a, a giant in the music industry. Absolutely. And I'm so glad you spoke of that. The music business, as we were talking a little bit before, is about 10 percent of the music, right? and 90% business. And most of the artists uh, really uh, sometimes uh, the business side uh, really doesn't, you know, do them, it's not fair in some ways to them. And let's talk about that because a lot of uh, artists are on here that maybe are new. Yeah, you know, the one thing that was most important to me um, based on just so many things that you have heard and through the years, you know, mm -hmm. about artists not being able to, whether it's masters or whether right. it's other things, uh, you know, it's important to understand the business. Now, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm still learning, you know, yeah. as I go, but I can tell you a long way from when first started in making <laughs> sure that your, 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 uh, your, your music is protected, make sure it's copywritten, make mm -hmm. sure, you know, there's so many ins and outs of, mm -hmm. you know, understanding this, this business and making sure that you, you own 
what you know you, you own your 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 stuff mm-hmm. um and that was important to me. We've been blessed to be approached by, you know, a, a couple of different labels. And I think what was most important to me was to be able to be able to to create my own path, for lack of a better term, right. and to be able to own what what God had given me, what I created. You know, I didn't want to have all the other influences or the other hands uh, in the pot. Um, so it's just the hands of me and my husband. Right. And uh, we're, we're working this thing as best we can and learning along the way. We, we don't always get it right, right, but we make sure that the business is, is handled first and foremost. I'm so glad that shout out to your management and husband. (laughs) But what I loved about reading your story is that you invest in yourself and many of us don't. Yeah. You know, that's, that's something I think, um, especially as an, as an indie artist, you know, you also have to pay the bills, you know, in addition to pursuing this. So um, my profession, I to doing this um, on a regular basis was in human resources management. Right. Um, so I early on, you know, when I first started, I was working nine to ten to eleven hours a day. Then going in the studio for six and seven hours, you know. And this was, I, I'd say, for the first five years, mm-hmm. first four or five years. It was having two full time jobs, right. you know, um, it's it's a lot of, of work, you know, when you still have to keep going and maintaining your 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 life, you know, while mm-hmm. you're pursuing this. And you have to know that if you want to do this, you're going to have to put 110 percent into this every day, all the time. You know, there's not a CD cover that I've not personally created or right. there's not um, the, the business side. All of that is taken care of for me. Um, so it's 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 hands on, you know, mm-hmm. it, it's hands on every single step of the way. And it's it's learning and finding people who can mentor and, and assist you and help you, you know, to develop, um, you know, in, in that area. But it, it, it really is. It's a, a nonstop grinding. <laughs> right. Um, everyday journey that I wouldn't honestly trade for the world. Absolutely. I'm glad you said that. Many people look at you when you start and then they look at you being a celebrity, but they never know the journey. There's a journey part of that. And I'm glad you're saying, speaking on that. Yeah. Yeah. I was, in fact, I was just telling my husband as we celebrate five years of um, releasing something about you, I said, wow, I remember when we first recorded that song mm-hmm. and honestly, Cam, we were, we, my husband and I were literally going from DJ to DJ to DJ, you know, doing as best we can to get the word out. No one knew, you know, about my music or right. anything else. So we were, we took the grassroots approach mm-hmm. and to look and see 2.6 million views um, went from ground zero uh, it brings tears to my eyes still because it, it really was getting out there, um, selling CDs out of the trunk of our car mm-hmm. to get going. Um, and and uh, it, it amazes me now to just to see how far we've come. Still a long way to go, right. but to, just to see how far we've, we've come with uh, just the grind, um, mm-hmm. it, it, it just it amazes me, amazes me. Absolutely. Many, and we were talking about investing in yourself. A lot of people don't understand representation is very key. The person that represents you is really, really key to a lot of this, uh, the success part. Yeah, I, I totally agree. People that are out there are, are they're, they're an extension of you, you know? Yes. And so, you know, just as I tell my husband and I tell, you know, all the other band members, you know, listen, it, to me, it's, it's, it's not as much about musicianship with the band members that I have, my background singers, but it's the heart as well. You know, when people, when we have people on our team, it's, it's not, uh, we invite people on our team. It's not just how great you sound or how great you play. It's how great that heart it is as well, because we're an extension of each other when we're out there in the world. Mm-hmm. And from a spiritual standpoint, you know, I, I, I promised the Lord that if I would get out, he would get me out there, that I would represent him as best I can in excellence. So that means surrounding myself with people um, who are good hearted, mm-hmm. who are kind, you know, um, and that's important to me. 
that's important right. to me to have a team that's well-rounded. Absolutely. The other thing, too, that I know a little bit about you or heard so, is that when you do, you know, you take your band out, you and your band, you make sure they're paid. They have their own, you know, <laughs> yeah, this is real because they have a family. They have a family. And I'm sure yeah. many times for the income that you've made, maybe that night, you might not have gotten paid, but say you made sure they did. Oh yeah, that that's so important to me. This is this is this is my dream and it's my journey and mm -hmm. I'm not going to ask people to sacrifice right. themselves, their their lives, you know, and their, uh, for the sake of my dream. So it's it's very important. And that's actually one thing I learned from Pastor Marvin Wine is what he made sure that if his accommodations were five star so was ours. Right. And I really ap appreciated that, you know. And so when I go places, my band is paid first and foremost. Mm -hmm. um, they're, they're stayed as best, you know, we, we, we place them in many cases in individual rooms. Right. Um, we try to roll out the, the red carpet for, for the band members that support us. And, and I'm very proud to be able to do that. It's not always been easy. There have right. been numerous occasions <laughs> where we have left with zero dollars, right. you know, my husband and I, but everybody else was taken care of. And so that was okay. That was, right. that was okay. Mm -hmm. um, that's a part of this journey. Those mm -hmm. are the people that we have asked to support us. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do our best to make sure they're taken care of every step of the way. Absolutely. I wanted people to know that about you. I read a little bit. And now COVID hit. Oh, wow. Hit. Yeah, so COVID hit the beginning of 2020, like the whole world yeah. stopped, you know, the end of February, yeah. beginning of March. And many people were full-time, as we spoke about, as artists during that time. Uh, what advice would you give them since they were full-time at the time? I know you kept going as far as working on projects. You still kept going, you know? A lot of people on yeah. this is the time that we have time, you know? Yeah, yeah. You know, this was the time to me when the world shut down. It was the time where we just decided we were going to hone our craft. We right. were going to get to buckle down to the music. We weren't going to take this as a extended vacation, but we went into a, a writing and production frenzy and just found ways to get through this. Um, a lot of that will be expressed in my upcoming project in, in uh, June that's coming out. But a lot of, we wrote a lot. I, I wrote a right. lot. I did a lot of, of music behind the scenes. And I've used this as a, as a, as a time to, um, you know, just appreciate life, I guess, right. more. Because you yeah. also, this was so much happened in such a short period of time. Right. So I connected with family and, and, and so forth. But I just gained a greater appreciation, I think, for life in general. And uh, I, I, I wrote things. I, I, I often would, would contact uh, family members and would do Zoom um, you know, inspirational you know, things and do sing some songs and mm -hmm. so forth. Because we needed each other. Everybody needed each other you know, to get through this, yeah. right? You know? mm -hmm. um, so it was. It was, a, it was an incredible year. And we're still, we're still in it. You know? right. But thankfully, it looks like this, the sun is trying to peek its way through the right. dark clouds we've had over the years, the last year and a half. And uh, hopefully we're, we're coming out of it now, but it's been an incredible year, especially mm -hmm. as an artist. Right. Um, but this was the time to your point, you know, this was definitely the time to just kind of buckle down and, and reclaim, reframe, refresh, all of that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. The thing about mm -hmm. it is that, because most were traveling and going so fast, many didn't, uh, you know, the husband was passing the wife or the wife was passing the husband, didn't see the children. This was also time for family. Yeah, yeah. And I, I think um, I think I appreciated that even more so for the last few years. Uh, it's, it's been a, a busy thankfully, you know, period yeah. of being able to travel, you know, abroad and uh, in, in so many places. But um, having been able to not having, I think before COVID, pre-COVID, I probably was home maybe once uh, a month. Mm -hmm. And so being able to have an extended period of time where I could reconnect with with family and, and, and friends. And I, I have a son 
um, who's, who's a senior in college. So, you know, able to just, just kind of just, um, just regroup all right. around. It, it was, it was, a, a an experience, um, for me that, that will last forever in seeing, losing so many friends and, and right. people that I, uh, you know, it, it's, um, uh, you know, it, it's, it's no words to, to describe, no words to describe it. It sure is. You have some great songs that are out. I tell you, lady, one of them, uh, something about you. We were talking about that. <laughs> Where did that come from? Just the thought of something about you. Wow. That's the one that came into my spirit. That's what I found. And that's why I connected. I was like, who is this singing this song? <laughs> <laughs> you know, for me, it was, it was, um, I guess for lack of a better term, it's, it's an ode to that mature, yes. uh, seasoned fella, you know, I think, you know, get, go away from trying to, to dye the, the beard or, or mustache, <laughs> cause it, embrace that salt and pepper goatee. Right. And what I found was that many women um, appreciate that salt and pepper goatee and that seasoned, you know, well seasoned, mature man. And so that's what that song really um, captured for me. That's what what I like and what I found that many other uh, females uh, around the world and, and abroad care for as well. So that has been my number one song track to date is uh and people always remember that line salt and pepper goatee signs yes. of your maturity yes 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 <laughs> that's what i loved i was like wait a minute this lady is celebrating a kings you know it's not often yeah. that we hear a lot of women celebrate us as kings you know and i just loved yeah. that song because of that you really just hone in about the love you know we accept you for who you are, you know. We love you just yeah. the way you are. You just don't have to change. We just love it. And right. I was like, whoa, we who is this lady? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's the truth. You know, it's it's, it's not a lot of songs that um, really embrace that, you know. Right. And um, I, didn't, I didn't seek out to purposely do that because there weren't songs out there like that. Mm -hmm. But I did think that there is a need to embrace, um, you know, just to embrace, just, just maturing. Right. I think that there's a need to embrace that. So many times we often want to go back to who we used to yes. be when, A, it's a blessing that you've made it to certain mm -hmm. stages of life. And right. why not embrace them? Why not? Why not enjoy them? Why not celebrate, you know? And that's what, not only that song, but that's what I try to represent in my music. And I'm glad you said that because many times we're trying to dye the hair. We're trying to lose the weight down to when we were 20 and 30. We're trying to, <laughs> you know, get everything back to where we, where we right. were, which right. in fact is just right. great to even be where we are. We don't, we need to be present in other words. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally agree. You know, you can, you know, you every day, um, and this is the spiritual side of me coming out, yeah. I guess, but uh -huh. uh, every day it's it's an absolute blessing to yes. see the sun rise, you know, yes. and if nothing else, this year and a half has taught us to just embrace where you are this moment mm -hmm. um, and to be appreciative of life you know, mm -hmm. um, and that's celebrating who you are, you know, it's, it's, it's celebrating who you are at any stage of your life. And especially as you mature, rather than depress yourself about what you used to be, how about plan for what you still can be, you know, and that's what I choose to do. Absolutely. There's Never one too that late. I love for two steppers, because I'm trying, like I said, work on that is let's go to work. <laughs> I love the people in the back on that video. I'm trying to practice. I'm trying to work it out. I'm trying to do it. But where did that come from? Let's go to work. You know, a lot of the songs I write are encouraged. Uh, you know, so many, there's, there's a lot of breakup songs out there. A lot yes. of songs of who did, who wronged. Right. And, you know, while I'm not saying that, you know, they're, 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 um, there's not a need to express your feelings that way, but 
Um, there also, I think, is a greater need to talk about how great love can be mm -hmm. and what you can do to make it better, you know? Um, and, and that's kind of how, that's what I try to do. You know, let's go to work, says, hey, I, I'm not perfect. You're not right. either, you know, but uh, let's, let's, let's work this thing out. Let's, let's, let's work together, mm -hmm. you know? And um, that's, that's, that's what I try to do, you know, with most of the songs, but that one in particular, um, let's go to work on this thing, you let's know, and it. the perk of the work Absolutely. is happy you, happy me. Absolutely. <laughs> let's do this. We'll take a break and we'll be right back with Michelle Young. We'll be right back to the Cam Hill Show after these messages. The Cam Hill Show. If you'd like to advertise your business or become a sponsor, contact the Cam Hill Show at gmail.com. I'm a part of the prenatal care club now, taking all my STD tests. Did you know your doctors required bylaw to test you three times for syphilis and HIV? Yes, my husband and I are making sure I get all three tests. Oh, good, testing is the key to preventing congenital syphilis. And good prenatal care is your first labor of love. Glad to hear your husband is so involved. Thank you, yes, taking all my STD tests for syphilis is important to both of us. My prenatal promise is to prevent a stillbirth or miscarriage. To find out more, visit myprenatalpromise.com. This pandemic has impacted the lives of many people living with underlying health conditions, such as asthma and diabetes. That's why avoiding COVID-19 is a top priority, and a vaccine will help prevent the spread of COVID-19. Please keep masking up and practicing social distancing to protect those close to you, and be ready to take your best shot when a vaccine is available. Protect yourself to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Amazing things for you. Move up at Ron Carter Cadillac. Drive the new 2021 Cadillac XT4 Luxury Collection for only $319 a month. The new 2021 Cadillac XT5 Luxury Collection for only $399 a month. Both for 39 month lease with just $1 down. Or purchase either and enjoy 0.9% APR for 72 months plus bonus cash. Gulf Freeway just two minutes south of the Beltway. Shop smarter when you shop Ron Carter. Ron Carter Cadillac. And now back to the Cam Hill Show. Hey, we are back with Michonne Young. Michonne, we were just talking about a lot of your music, about the songs and things like that. And just your uh, newest one that we're talking about now, you're number one in my book. Just a beautiful rendition of Gladys Knight oh, and the Pips. You. Where did that come from? You know, I actually was asked to be a part of, it's called Soul Sessions, and it mm -hmm. consisted of a number of female um, R&B singers, Teresa Griffith, uh, Cece Peniston uh, was another on that project. And they presented the Platinum Vibe recordings, pre presented it to me and said, we'd like you to be a part of it. And we have a song um, that we'd like you to do. And Honestly, Cam, when they first gave me that song, I said, no way, <laughs> there's no way I will, will, you know, try and tackle the amazing living legend, Miss Gladys Knight. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, they, uh, they allowed me to creatively, I guess, put um, a little bit of machine into it. And mm -hmm. I certainly wasn't, you know, trying to be a, a, a copycat, for lack of a better term, you know, I felt it best to try and be me and do um, you know, bring some of Michonne in, into that classic, and um, hopefully, I was able to do that. We we've been blessed to to see it reach number one as of last week yes. on the indie charts. So, I'm uh, I'm thankful for that, and thankful for the opportunity to do that. It was an amazing song. Absolutely, you really did. I just want to uh, let you know you did you put Michonne in there, and it is beautifully done. It is absolutely great to even hear it in just a different way, you know? 
it's just beautiful. Mm -hmm. You know, because each time you, you hear things from someone else, you're looking, you, you hear it from another side, and also you get a different meaning of it, I think. Yeah, you know, one of the things I didn't want to do, because that that's such a classic, you know, yes. um, I definitely didn't want to take away from the integrity, you know, of, of the, the track, you know, it, it was great and amazing as it was. But, you know, I also, you know, wanted to be, I guess, true to my artistry and just put a little bit of me into it without taking away from something that was already beautifully done. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. As you go through this music industry and now 2021, we were talking about co coming out of COVID, like post COVID, we're working on it, right? Yeah. And going into yeah. our really our new normal, because this is what it's going to be, our kind of new normal. What do you see for the music mm -hmm. industry going forward uh, now that people are, seems like they're coming back, they're trying to get out, they, you know, they've been in a whole year. Yeah, I, I definitely, I'm pleased to see that, you know, that uh, the world is, is slowly but surely opening. I think, I think, honestly, for the next um, couple of years mm -hmm. uh, that it will be, it's going to take, I think, that long for everyone to feel inc in, incredibly comfortable with right. going out to massive crowds, you know. Mm -hmm. So I do see a lot of uh, intimate um uh, performance opportunities that will will be out there for more intimate settings. Mm -hmm. I think you know it's it's going to be a minute before people really want to go out to the large festivals and right. um, you know um, and at least uh, for me, I can I can speak for me. You know, right. it will be a, a, a while you know before I'm truly comfortable with doing that. But you know, we definitely have started taking uh, requests now for more smaller, you know, as, as the summer moves on and we're able to go outside more. But I honestly do think that it's going to be a, a, a little bit of a little bit of time before people really are going to go out um, in in droves, you know, to mm -hmm. the, the larger festivals that we're accustomed, you know, to seeing. Right. Could be wrong, but um, you never know. You yeah, never know. Absolutely. What I've also noticed, too, and I don't know if you have just to ask you that, a lot of people, you know, because we were doing a lot of virtual, just like now, and we were doing a lot of virtual concerts. Yeah. People have asked me, yeah. "Hey, Cam, I mean, we really want to go to a live something. They want to still, they want to be yeah. there. Have you seen that?" I have, you know, uh, people definitely. I, I think they are virtual showed out. <laughs> <laughs> right. They they have they have seen so many, and it was wonderful when it first started because right. it certainly gave you another you know avenue of being able to experience some of your your favorite artists and right. and right. actually up close and personal. So it was uh -huh. great. Right. But at this point, you know, <laughs> um, a year into it. Yeah. People are like, you know, give me some place to go, right. you know, where I can see a live performer. So I definitely think that, um, you know, especially, you know, it's it, people are definitely, they definitely have that desire, but right. I just don't know that people have the desire to go to the mass of, you know, where there's thousands you. and yeah, thousands, you know, that part. I don't know. Yeah, definitely. They don't. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I agree with that Not yeah. right now. But yes, they do want to yeah. see the intimate part. They are okay. I do know that. People are okay with you saying, hey, you know, we're not doing the meet and greets anymore, as you know, but we right. do, we are able to see the person live. We do, they do yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It would be really interesting to see, though, if there are, you know, like microphones, how, how things, you know, how, how the, uh, uh how people, you know, try companies try to come up with different type of things. So because you know this is going to be this way for a while, right. I think, you know. Yes. I and agree. how if they what type of things that they come up with so that they can have the a uh, feel the comfort and safety of being out there, but right. still have things that you know can safeguard you as an artist and the audience. It'd be uh -huh. interesting to see what type of things they come up with. Absolutely. As as you've gone on. What all have you learned along the way for other artists to know? I've no learned <laughs> that, oh man, I'll, I'll, I'll make it real quick though, because I think for me, the most important thing I've learned is to ensure that you're doing this for the love of it. 
Mm -hmm. um, and not for, you know, you want some notoriety or you're looking for um, an extreme amount of money um, or you're looking for people to support you all the time to be your own. You have to be your biggest cheerleader and surround yourself with true people who believe in you um, who, who support you, who help you, you know, who, who care for you, who mm-hmm. care for your emotional health. Um, because some, some this journey is, 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 is taxing, you know, emotionally, financially, and otherwise. And so you need somebody or somebody's around you who are true, who are real, who, um, have your best interest at heart, um, and who can, can help you, you know, on this journey, stay grounded and stay emotionally healthy. Cause that's important. That's important. This journey will take you on a roller coaster, um, and yes. then some. Uh-huh. You know, so you have to you have to make sure. I think that you know you have people around you, and be your be your your biggest cheerleader. You know, mm. be don't look people like you on Monday. They like your song on Monday, <laughs> and then by third, they're on to the next one. And you got to right. be okay with that. Right. You know, you just got to keep grinding and. Like I said, do it. Make sure that you absolutely love what you do because you will be disappointed if Mm. you think, you know, for the most part that everybody's going to celebrate you all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not going to happen. Absolutely. absolutely. (laughs) I think the other thing, and I'm glad you mentioned that, so many people become disappointed that family and close friends may not uh, understand or see the vision as quickly as you've seen it or supported, I should say, until it's popular. Yeah. Yeah, you're absolutely right. You know, I, I said from day one, this is my dream, you know, mm-hmm. and I am not expecting nor am I um, looking for, you know, people to fully give all of their undivided attention to support my dream, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, thankfully, you know, I've, I've had, I've got some some good people uh, on my right and left, yeah. but uh, at the end of the day, I realized early on that this was something I chose to pursue, you know, mm-hmm. and it's okay if, if family does not get, you know, you or does not always support, you know, the way that you'd like them to, can't do it for that either. You simply right. have to do it because you believe in what you're doing, you, 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 you believe in your gift and you believe in your journey and you're going to go full into this journey with an understanding that no matter what, I'm going to love what I do. You know, when I stop loving what I do, then I'm going to stop because, you know, it's, it's just not going to be worth it. You know, it's not going to be worth it to pursue it just for the sake of other things that you think should happen as a result of doing it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You said something very pivotal, too, is that your nine to five, you kept it for a long, you were at your nine to five for a long time. Other people, you know, sometimes they, you know, jump into this prematurely sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you know, it's, 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 it's can, it can be easy, I guess, to, uh, to think about when you realize how much is involved in yes. pursuing this. But um, you have to be realistic, you know, and for me, I, I knew, okay, this is, this is going to require a lot of work. We don't have a label, you know, we right. don't have all the other things that people, you know, typically have in this journey. So, you know, we've got to do it all, but we mm-hmm. also have to fund it all. Right. And funding it means that. <laughs> yes. yes, fund it all. Funding it means, yeah, fund it means you have to have that, that capital. We've got to pay the band. We've got to. Mm-hmm. You know, I've never asked for favors, you know, from for people. Mm-hmm. Um, so we've worked worked hard, you know, and uh, even still, even when when COVID hit, you know, I, I I did other things that that I've done in the past, HR consulting and so forth, to subsidize what we were doing, mm-hmm. and I was okay with that, you right. know, totally okay with that. So you do what you have to do mm-hmm. when you're trying to pursue a dream, and be okay with that. Absolutely. I'm glad you spoke about background because a lot of people want to be forefront all the time, you know, when they first come out. And the background and what you said, and I love what you said, you said, I really like to stay in the background versus being in the, <laughs> in the forefront. But the background, I love what you did as far as your admiration and what you uh, celebrated about Pastor Marvin uh, Winans and all that you've said about him throughout. 
Yeah, I um, I, I really do. I, I really am comfortable best in the background, <laughs> you know. And honestly, had I not been tugged at the heart and so at so many late nights, um, that it was time to to use my gift, um, pick it up and 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 dust it off and use it again, um, I probably would have stayed in the background. So, you know, I, I, I thank Pastor Winans a, a great deal for believing in me. You know, he, um, I'll, I'll share this really quick, quick story. He told me one day in his office, he said, write your name on this piece of paper. And he said, because one day people are going to want your autograph. And I joked and I laughed and I, you know, and the very first time I was at my CD release party, the very first CD I released, and it sold out and people were coming over to ask me for my autograph. I thought about that moment mm. and just bust into tears um, because he said that. And I never would have thought that. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, yeah. Wow, wow, wow. So now people are asking for your autograph. You're thinking back like, yeah, right. You know, at the time he was saying it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, never would have thought that. Never would have thought that. Never dreamt that. Never, you know, um, I, just never, 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 never. So, you know, for him to say that at that time and mm -hmm. then, you know, to actually have that happen when, when people send me emails and uh, I go through, I read every individual email and I respond personally to every individual uh, person that reaches mm -hmm. out to me because I don't take it lightly. There's too many artists out there that they could tune into and listen to and support. And the fact that they chose me yes. just means something. So the least I can do is just reach out to you. You're never too busy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you should never be too busy as an artist to support those who have taken up the time and spent their money to support you. Mm -hmm. You know, and I never want to I never want to get rid of that feeling. Absolutely. Absolutely. As we're looking at it, uh, the industry, and we were talking about the 2020, and we were just talking about advice to others that maybe are, you know, brand new to it, or they're just trying, they're spending their money in studio time, and maybe into management, just not understanding that business. Represented, representation, and we talked about that, was so key, but you have to spend money for representation, attorneys, you know, management. Uh, publicist or whatever, you know, if you don't have anybody that can assist you. Yeah, that's the absolute truth, you know, because you definitely, there's so many legalities involved yes. um, with original pieces, original compositions that, that you, comp compositions rather, that you definitely want to make sure you've got your ducks in a row mm -hmm. and, um, you know, getting the right, making sure you've got, you know, the right entertainment attorney right. Um, and actually and, and reading there was a lot of things before we were able to get an attorney we would spend weeks <laughs> and yes. and weeks of researching of reading of going to get material so we could understand what we didn't know you know right. so we could could learn what we didn't know and understand it you know mm -hmm. um, but that's so important you know and then um, there's many things that we had to learn to do on our own until we could do better. Like I said, you know, there was from all of the CD covers to the photograph <laughs> to all of that, you know, I personally did, you know, uh -huh. it was no, it was nothing to me at all to, to try and learn all of these different things. Um, copywriting, you know, all mm -hmm. of that. Um, that was all done after sometimes at 12 o'clock midnight after working all day to six and going right. to the studio uh five hours you know <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah but um it, it was it was worth it it was it was worth it but definitely you gotta make sure that you don't just look at this as i want to sing and show people i can sing right if that's what you want to do that's fine but if you're really looking at this to professionally you know to pursue mm -hmm. it professionally there's so many other layers of things that you just need to make sure you know and cover um, should you should you decide to. Absolutely. The other thing that I love about you and your husband, networking. Networking, networking, networking. Getting out there meeting the <laughs> DJs, getting out there meeting radio personalities, 
media and things like that. So what we'll do, we'll expand on that. We'll take a break and we'll be right back on The Cam Hill Show. We'll be right back to The Cam Hill Show after these messages. The Cam Hill Show. If you'd like to advertise your business or become a sponsor, contact the Cam Hill Show at gmail.com. I'm a part of the prenatal care club now, taking all my STD tests. Did you know your doctors required by law to test you three times for syphilis and HIV? Yes, my husband and I are making sure I get all three tests. Oh, good. Testing is the key to preventing congenital syphilis. And good prenatal care is your first labor of love. Glad to hear your husband is so involved. Thank you. Yes, taking all my STD tests for syphilis is important to both of us. My prenatal promise is to prevent a stillbirth or miscarriage. To find out more, visit myprenatalpromise.com. This pandemic has impacted the lives of many people living with underlying health conditions, such as asthma and diabetes. That's why avoiding COVID-19 is a top priority, and a vaccine will help prevent the spread of COVID-19. Please keep masking up and practicing social distancing to protect those close to you, and be ready to take your best shot when a vaccine is available. Protect yourself to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Amazing things for you. Move up at Ron Carter Cadillac. Drive the new 2021 Cadillac XT4 Luxury Collection for only $3.19 a month. The new 2021 Cadillac XT5 Luxury Collection for only $3.99 a month. Both for 39 month lease with just $1 down. Or purchase either and enjoy 0.9% APR for 72 months plus bonus cash. Gulf Freeway just two minutes south of the Beltway. Shop smarter when you shop Ron Carter. Ron Carter Cadillac.com. And now back to the Cam Hill Show. Hey, family, thanks for coming back. We're talking to Miss Michonne Young, National Recording Artist. We were picking up right there, just talking about the fact of just music in itself, what you should do, things like that, and what what you've been doing along the way. Also networking, we were talking about that, and that's what I love about you, you two, the two of you all. You get out there, you tell people about the music you have, and you're very transparent and very open about how to contact you. Yeah, you know, that's, that's it's, I think it's critical, you know, yes. the, the first people um, at the, the front line who can get your music into the ears of of your, your listeners are the DJs, you know. Mm -hmm. So um, it was in, it was important and vital to get a connection, you know, with the, the DJs um, early on. Um, so we were personally delivering, you know, our, our tunes to to D DJs and even asking for feedback, you know, at times. So right. it was it was uh, it was it was great, and it still is. I still have really great relationships with a number of DJs and. Absolutely, I make myself available and my husband makes himself available um, at any point in time to connect. So whether it's a radio drop or a jingle, you know, I've, I've written a few jingles from for DJs. Um, some didn't even ask, but just for me, just as a thank you for supporting the music and getting my music out there, mm -hmm. um, you know, we would just we would just do stuff like that, you know, right. no cost, no charge. You, you've exposed me, you've exposed our music, you know? Right. So that's little things like that have helped us to have great relationships with the DJs. And such a great lifeline. I love that, that you all make that lifeline between each other as far as, you know, the DJs and yourself. You're very, like I said, transparent, open, and very available. You make it easy for someone to contact you. I know it was easy for us to contact you. You responded immediately. Not often we get that. And we just love that. Just you're not six degrees anymore from each other. You know, so many people say, you know, you're six degrees from certain people, but I love that part. Uh, that that means a lot. And thank you for saying that because we, we try to, 
you know we uh, we try our best you know we we uh we, we're we're human and we make mistakes like mm -hmm. the next man but mm -hmm. um we have as we have been gaining um more following you know right. uh sometimes it gets it gets difficult to to respond as timely but i have a a 48 hour rule you know yeah. um that listen <laughs> we respond no more right. than 48 hours you know mm -hmm. you never should get too busy for people who are reaching out to further expose you and what you do right. and right. when you get to the point where you you're at that level where no you have to contact my manager's manager manager <laughs> that's too many layers right. <laughs> too many right. layers it's too many layers you know um, you, you should never be that grand where you can't reach to, you know, to, to reach out to the people that want to further your career. And anytime mm -hmm. somebody is wanting to include you in your product, your mm -hmm. music, um, it, it makes no sense to me. I, I never, I never understood why people uh, who reach a certain level um, almost forget where they came from, you know, and who helped them to get there. And uh, I, I said, you know, no matter where God takes me, mm -hmm. I pray that I always have a heart for the people, yes. you know, because yes, that's yes. what this is all about. Absolutely. Well, this I will say COVID has changed the thought processes of many of those people because everybody was at home. So when we started reaching out to everybody during COVID, they were like, yes. <laughs> We're at home. I we bet. want to stay relevant. <laughs> yes, we'll do virtual immediately. <laughs> it was no oh, longer sure. calling to I'm the manager sure. anymore. It was like, Cam, <laughs> call my cell phone. Here it is. Oh, mm -hmm. I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. <laughs> it was true. It was an eye opening thing that I felt like, you know, a lot of people that I wouldn't have been able to talk to because of concerts and, you know, them traveling along the way and everything. Mm -hmm. They were like, no, Cam, we're mm -hmm. at home and we want we want you to talk to put who we, we want to do whatever we do. <laughs> You know, and let's hope that that same spirit stays. You know, yes. now that we get back out there, uh -huh. you know, let's hope that everybody, you know, has a different um, right. way of of doing, you know, of of, of interacting, um, right. you know, with with other people and and consider those small people, you know, right. that that kind of at, at the consider them no longer small people, but just people that perhaps you know can can help further your career or or you can help them in some way. I'm hoping that a spirit of servitude comes out of all of this, you know, in some small too. way, in my naive way. Yeah. You know, I really do. Absolutely. You've got anything upcoming. You've got a lot of upcoming things. June, you were saying you're getting ready to drop something new. Yeah, we are getting ready to drop a 15 track um, project. It's called Rose Colored Glasses LLE Volume 3, which is Love Life Experiences Volume mm. 3. And um, I am extremely excited about this project, um, primarily because it was it was written during the pandemic. So there is a lot of um, emotional, you know, uh, tracks, fun tracks, um, but it kind of tells some stages of stories musically that I think many of us may have experienced during this downtime. So I'm hoping that um, it'll it'll reach the hearts of, of many and get it out there. So June is coming out. Mm -hmm. We've got the a new single coming out this Friday called Happy mm -hmm. um, off the new project and video that we just um, actually had to shoot last weekend. So <laughs> yeah, it's 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 off and running again. Right, it's <laughs> off and running. So happy. Tell us a little bit about it and where it came from. Oh wow, happy. Um, you know, sometimes I think that, you know, we at least pre-pandemic, you know, you for me, and this is this is my personal story. You know, basically, you, you sometimes you can just look for other things, you know, that you think could make you happy. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes you also think that, you know, people sometimes will try to dummy down what you want to do for you, what you think you would like to have to make you happy. And so the message in this song is just simply, you know, it, it's it lyric says, all I want is to be happy. And is, is, is it too much to want the, you know, a, the a huge piece of life's pie, you know, 
never let anyone dummy down your desires. You know, all I wanted to to be is happy, and it's okay with wanting whatever you want that makes you happy, um, and and being comfortable with that. You know, so it's a fun song. It's a two stepper song. Yes. Um, and uh, <laughs> and I've gotten uh, some pretty great responses. It officially comes out on Friday, um, and I'm excited about that. I'm glad you mentioned that. I'm thanking you, lady, for everything. Let's talk to the viewers and tell them some last words. What would you like to leave with the viewers? Oh, wow. Um, I think I just want to leave with viewers that it's never too late to dream again. Um, it's never too late to believe again. It's never too late to start again. It's all in the mind. It's all in what you believe about you. And if nothing else, I hope that during this time that we've all been isolated and that we've all been um, away from family and friends that, you know, when we come back out, that we come back out with a loving spirit, um, a more willing spirit to help your brother, your sister, and um, be safe in the mm -hmm. midst of it all. Still be safe. That's, that's, I guess that's about it. <laughs> I've probably said enough. <laughs> Sounds good. How do people get your music and how do people get in touch with you? Or your management? Well, www.mishanyoung.com um, or mishanyoung1 at gmail.com. I respond to everybody. Um, my music is available on all digital platforms. So Spotify, Apple, all of them, it's out there. Um, and my YouTube channel. I typically mm -hmm. post um, to my YouTube channel first, you know, everything. So uh, and Twitter at Michonne Young Music and Instagram at Michonne Young Music and Facebook as well. Sounds good. Thank you, lady, for the opportunity. Thank your husband. For Thank you for having me. Just saying so, being so easy for us. Thank you for just <laughs> doing everything you're doing for the world and actually being there present and consistent over the years. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kim, for having me to your great staff. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. 1230 to 130 Central Standard Time, the Cam Hill Show. See you then. Bye.